Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and I've got three more pedals to check out for the Afforded Board series. They're all from Donner. For some reason, they sent me three pedals at a time instead of more or less. I don't know. Three just seems like a like weird number to send. So anyways, what do I have here? I've got the Nano Pedal Ripple. I, I already opened the, you know, the boxies came in because I didn't remember what they were. Nano Ripple, what is this? The box is coming apart on me. Is that the way it's supposed to open? I don't think that's the way it's supposed to open. All right, there we go. It was sticky for some reason. Ripple, look at this little guy. That is tiny, eensy teensy tiny little pedal. What does it do though? What is a ripple? It goes hard and it goes normal. It's got depth, color, and speed. It's hard to believe a pedal could be so small. I mean, let's compare it to a regular small pedal. It's a mini pedal compared to regular mini pedals. That's wild. All right, um, then a mini pedal dynamic wah by Donner. This is the size I'm used to. It's got a manual and everything. I'm assuming this is some kind of auto wah envelope filter sort of deal. And then one more. Will this box open? Oh, this slid right open. I opened it upside down. Another little tiny guy here. The Wave. Mod and normal level feedback and time. That seems like it's a delay pedal. There's a manual here. Natural echo box for guitarists. That's me. I'm a guitarist. This was made for me. Doesn't look like there's a lot of information there. What is it? What does the manual say about the ripple? Oh boy, here we go. Optical tremolo box for guitarists. It's like they sent these just to me. This is specific to me. It's for guitarists, guys. All right. So we have an interesting set of pedals here. Dynamic wah, delay, and tremolo. I feel like I need to throw a drive into the bunch to have the most fun with this, but uh, let's just roll with it. These guys are really small too, so I think I need to bring the camera down. All right, that's a lot better. All right, in affordable tradition, I'm gonna be playing an affordable guitar. This is my new Squire Classic Vibe Starcaster. I've been loving this thing. This is a really fun guitar. Let's check my levels. All right, all set. Let's start with the dynamic wah. You want to be able to see those controls. Let's put everything into noon. It's not fair to start with everything turned down. Yeah! Didn't I get another dynamic wall in a few weeks ago? I think it was a Sonic cake. I'll have to pull that out of the box to do a comparison. I spent all that time adjusting the audio and then I started clipping the mics. Funky. the 
Azad. That's the thing. It's, it seems like you've really got to find the sweet spots with it because there's a lot of range on each control. There's not much happening. serviceable i'd use that just as like oh man i gotta have dynamic wah on this pedal board in this set right now and i don't want to you know think about it too hard just grab this it's gonna do the sound no brainer all right the wave a tiny tiny little i'm assuming analog delay pedal pretty nice for some uh you know oscillated like spaceship sounds but uh the knob is so tiny that you're never gonna rack that thing back and forth in a set it's just you need tweezers to get in there <laughs> does the carbon copy thing kind of well a little bit brighter than that so maybe it's like a carbon copy bright The 
nice thing about this is that the controls are so tiny that you can't accidentally turn them. If you need like a dedicated little slap back box or something like that, or just your long delay freak out box, just a tiny little trick delay to have on your board. I mean, that's this, it's tiny. It all sounds very good. How long does it go? It feels like half a second or so. Somewhere in between like 350 and 500 milliseconds. I gotta say I'm pretty dang impressed by the way right off the bat there's not a crazy jump in the range of any of the controls it's you can dial it in very easily I mean it's tiny it's super super tiny it has a very serviceable analog delay sound to it a very nice pretty modulation I think this is a really cool delay pedal. It's a fun color too. I like that seafoam green. All right, now something I'm picky about, something I'm really picky about. Tremolo, the ripple. Let's put everything to noon. Depth, speed, color, hard, and normal. Let's start off normal. I, didn't, I don't wanna just jump into hard. What if it's too hard for me? need a fresh tuna. Really need to graphite the nut on this thing. It's a pretty awesome cheap guitar, but it could be a little bit more awesome with a little bit of lubrication. All right, the ripple. Interesting that there's a tone control on it. That's an interesting little trick. get terribly deep or choppy. I feel like I want a little bit more chop. I'm, I'm afraid it's gonna be too hard, but let's try the hard switch. Let's see if I can handle the difficulty of the hard setting. <laughs> That's more like it. 
shape on it. I like it on the harder setting with the depth pulled back a bit. It has a totally fine range of speed. The color knob, that's a nice trick. That's a fun trick. I wish it was a volume control instead. I always love to have volume controls on my tremolo pedals. Um, what I'm using for tremolo on the official Hall of Fame affordable board here is the modular by Moogig, which has a volume control, a level control for the tremolo. And so I'm afraid this is not gonna dethrone that. But, I mean, there's something here with that color control and with just how small it is. If you just need a little tremolo, this is a little tremolo, that's for sure. Um, if you don't need it to do a volume boost or a volume cut or anything like that, but that color control is compelling to you, I can't tell you not to buy this. <laughs>
I don't know guys, that was pretty great. <laughs> Let me see if I can dig around in uh, the box of affordable pedals and find that other dynamic wall. Ah, oh, jeez, it's getting heavy. I need like a big, like, toy treasure chest to store all this stuff in. <laughs> this cardboard box is not gonna hold up forever. And this is getting ridiculous. It just is. All right, where are you? Shark, that's not it. Cloud chorus. Aha! That's right, Sonic Cake Crybot. All right, let's see how that compares. I'm having a bad memory right now. This was either an auto filter or it was just like ramps at a speed. No. Uh, it has the same exact layout as the Donner. I think it's the same pedal, guys. It sounds identical to me. It's the same control layout. Tone is a little bit different. But I think that's just component drift that happens, you know, in the same components from individual component to individual component. Like a volume pot can be 10% different than another volume pot, and you wouldn't know until you compare it. Um, I think this is the same circuit. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's part of the fun uh, discovery side of this series. Let's do uh, two different settings and combine them. <laughs> It's tough because it really does have that sweet spot. Man, that is piercing when it hits that peak. So I'm going to say that because these two are identical, even though they're fun and I think I can recommend them for sure, um, if you're looking for an affordable auto envelope filter wah sort of situation, uh, I think the Wave is the winner. The Ripple is fine. If you like that feature set, if you're looking to get into a little tremolo, this is a little tremolo, like I mentioned. But the Wave, it just comes strong with the way it sounds. You can't beat the size of it if you're trying to save space or just cram one little thing in there. Yeah, 
if you're looking for like a carbon copy, copy, <laughs> it's kind of bright, but breaks up pretty nice, has a really nice analog delay sort of thing going on, gives you mod options, and is tiny, just tiny, tiny, tiny. Yeah, I can recommend that. I don't think it's going to kick the Akus off my main board here, uh, just because I love some quirkiness of the Akus, but I'm definitely going to be looking for a time and a reason to use this. There's something there. There's something that I like about this. I bet it probably compares to, you know, one of the Azor delays that I have or something like that. Uh, but I liked those as well. All right. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me a rude, nasty comment. Support us on Patreon. And you know what? You can stay grounded. I'm going to give you permission. You go ahead and stay grounded, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.